Hey guys, Spray and Bray here, and welcome to the next episode of my Let's Play. I think this is 16 of my play is Byzantium in your prisoner's allies for Yes, Russia is being very weird. They uh, they lost Perm earlier, and they I guess they retook it. Uh, Scandinavia has been just pushing hard as balls through. I don't know why Scandinavia doesn't push as hard to eat Sweden. Just to control Estonia. <laughs> Good luck with that, Sweden. You only have three freaking provinces. Anyway, I don't know why Sweden is not getting eaten by... Especially because Scandinavia has cores on Sweden right now. Like, I would be all up in that shit. Unless they're my vassal. But no, they're not. But whatever. We'll see. I think uh, I think Scandinavia is like not allowed to pro like it's programmed to not attack Sweden because like the developers are from Sweden, which is like kind of strange to me. It's like why why would you do that to your own game? Like, I know you're from there, but it's like it's not like in every game America is not allowed to get attacked. Well, I guess it's kind of funny. That's kind of true. <laughs> we do kind of make games here in America that are catered towards ourselves, but still, you know. We are trying to make it fair. Like like pretty much every every war game has America getting like blown up a little bit. All right, so you're working on our embassy now, so we're gonna get another uh, diplomat. Don't know if we actually need it because I usually have trouble getting all of our diplomats doing stuff as it is, but whatever. Might as well try. Yeah, I don't know why we have such low stuff. Let's see, uh, Uzbek. They will white peaks. Good. And then, do are we at peace war with anybody else? Kazan? I wonder if they want white peace. They probably do because they're getting occupied by Russia, so... Super for peace. And then we'll have more war score against Karakoin, though. We're lo Cause we're losing sieges and we kind of need it. Good. All right. Oh, we need a we need a diplomat back. The hands is threatening our trade. Why? Why? Seriously, like, what are they? What are they doing? What do they think they're gonna get? We don't need Armenia or Emirati or these things up here, do we? For that decision that I was thinking of? No. So, yeah, we don't. Okay. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take, like, So I'm pretty sure those are all the things. And then we can give back Armenia, right? Alright, and then we can probably sell Mosul to them. And take their money. Alright, that's good enough for me. Alright, so uh, we have a little bit of housekeeping to do. Car coin, Lou, we're going to have to sell you something. And we're going to release Georgia. Before these guys do it. So let's go to my country. Create Georgia as a vassal. Alright, and then we're going to also release Iraq. So you saw that one down there? And I'd rather have that because um, cause now we can use Iraq instead of Akkoinlu, and we can actually annex Akkoinlu now. So yes, we have too many relations, but we're going to break this royal marriage with Austria. So now, yeah, we're good. Mm 
All right, and then uh, now, look at that, guys. We're doing so good. We're kind of like regaining the Black Sea area. All right, and uh, I think it's time to go back to war with the Mamluks. Soon, we our truce is over in December of this year, so we're gonna have to try to do that. But that might be a little bit harder. I hope they go to war with somebody else besides us. In the meantime. Anyways, we do have a bunch of money to spend, so we're going to do that, uh, we can do forts. Just on the border there. A real marriage from Iraq? Why are we, how are we the same religious type as... How are we the same religious type as them? Oh, they're Orthodox, but they're only their only provinces. The only province they have is, I don't get it. I have no idea how that's working, but whatever. So we can annex Aquinley, uh, right? They don't have any more cores. No. Nope. Okay. Good. Georgia's. Uh, they lost their rebels, I guess. Uh, do we still have a lot of reinforcement to do? No! Yay! We have all the troops back! So sweet, we don't have that weird awkward phase where we're not going to have our army standing. Why do we have so much fucking inflation? Can we seriously get a, like, a nice Byzantium event? And not some like shitty one? Where we get more inflation all the time. I guess not. But... Whatever. So yeah, we'll use Iraq because I believe this is the uh, their culture is um, their culture is the Iraq. Yeah, so they're, they're the uh, Ottoman culture, super conglomerate thing, Sunni unifying culture, whatever. I'm just proud to be spreading our orthodoxy around. And so yeah, those are the two provinces that are Shia. Interesting. So those are the two that we didn't get back. Oh, we, did, we also got this one free. Strange. Well, hopefully there's a rebel over here, and then they'll both they'll defect to Georgia and make Georgia bigger without us having to go to war over it. But yeah, we're annexing them. It should be done very shortly because they they're pretty small. So we'll get our things and be closer to calling ourselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I guess we have to accept. But why is Trier? Trier? Why? They're gonna get blitzed. Cause Austria is the cause they, they have military access through here. Alright, well I guess we're gonna raise war taxes and pay for our damn troops. Alright, Austria. Put up your dukes. We're coming. Let's get our fleet. Oh, come on. Please, fleet, please. Uh, we lost all of our claims. Oh, my God. <laughs> so... Why? 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 Why <laughs> did all of our caravels just get blown up? Seriously, we, we were paying for them and everything. Uh, whatever. Alright, we're just gonna go and occupy the shit out of Austria. Fuck you, Austria. I hope you burn. 
Burn in hell. We're coming for you, Austria. You better believe it. Papal State's getting big. Ugh. Kill them, France. We will take out their ass. The units they have in their ass still. Let's see how our troops do against Western units, oh god. Oh god, I bet you we look so funny over here. Squish them. Send them running. Fantastic. Do we have a Regency? Still? How much longer? Because our guy was pretty good. Okay, he's 14, so next year we'll be out of it. Alright, so yeah, the Austrians' ar army is broken. So we're just gonna carpet siege them. And let France do the rest. I do not like how powerful the Pope is getting. It's just going to make it very difficult for us to do anything to him later on. Come on, France. Kill kill the Wurttembergs before they come over here and try to fuck with us while we're sieging. Pretty please. You go, France. Go! Put more troops in <laughs> before they die. Come on. Let's go. Do it. Beat them. Win. Oh well, at least we're showing Austria. Like, hey, get the hell, get your prioritize straight. You don't need these provinces you desire. You look over here. No, no Austria hungry for you. We are Austria Byzant or Byzantium hungry. Sweet, we integrated Karakoyan or Akoyan. So yeah, we look kind of strange. And we do have a lot to convert, but that's okay. So we got our missionaries for. How's our forts going? Sweet. So we built them up along here. Uh, I'm not really sure what to build right now, but maybe more military. We could definitely use like 10 cannons, so let's do that. Uh, we're gonna need to raise war taxes. Oh no, we already did, it's fantastic. Uh, we're gonna start getting claims on these guys. I'm hammed now, we're gonna take it. Got some troops over here that we're going to send and maybe use as backup and help siege more. What do I want to get out of this for? I don't know. Byzantine vassal? No, not really. I don't have any money, so... Let's turn on... Let's do the checkbox that, uh... They can negotiate for us in case they want to give us stuff. I'd be fine with that, especially even taking like land. I, I would I would feel fine coring it if they wanted to give us like stuff that we siege.
Yay! Some Sunni zealots over here. Right, come over here. Let's put this guy here and um. Right, and we're gonna have the attached to this unit thing, so that the uh, Georgians will come help us. They sure built up an army quick. So we have a good heir now. Uh, not so good, or sorry, no, no, we have a good king, not so good heir. Um, mercantilism. Uh, we're gonna go to Kurdistan. More discipline, sounds great. Alright, and now we have the Georgians with us. So once we get to Kurdistan, we're going to move on to the uh, rebels that are thwarting our progress over here. Alright, go kill those guys. Artillery moved up. Still no more, no more sieges happened over here. Mercantilism sounds better than whatever that defensiveness shit was. Good, we got Wayne and Crane. Now we can move over to Triol. Gain Patriarch Authority. Sure thing. Uh, we might need to do war taxes soon. Just got lanes done. Move up to Trent. Or Verona, but more likely is the safer one. Actually, we're gonna drop a siege in Trent. Yeah. Drop siege, and then move over, just to ensure that we maintain the the leadership of the siege there. Do we win? Do we win? Please tell me we won over here. Okay, thank God. Right, you can detach uh, Georgia, do what you want, because the pirate is free. You are her fiddle lady. Um, I like to see that Karakoinlu is still having issues. We just got Stay Remark. So, yeah, we're going to pretty much siege all of the uh, traditional Austrian lands. Uh, looks like they're having issues over here. So yeah, they're going to come and help us, and we'll kill those guys, too. I wonder whose leader we're using. Probably mine. Yeah, good. Come on, roll good, roll good. Roll shit, no shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We really lost that? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, really? I can't believe we lost. We were, it was so close, too. And we had such a good uh, general. Oh well. At least we're getting our revenge on Austria now. For what they did to us earlier. We could make them do that and we'll do we'll do Venice's mission for them. But no. We're gonna we're gonna let uh, France piece this out. Whatever they want to do. However, they whatever creative way they come up with to punish Austria for being bastards and killing my fleet unnecessarily. I'm just excited that our conversions are going well. And now we've finished our embassy, we have four diplomats too. Sweet.
We're just going to improve relations around the board. It's weird that they let them roost alone. Everything is cored now that the French took. Ireland is still in dismay. England is still having issues taking down the Scottish. All is well. Work when lose out of rebels. All right, we're gonna go and kill those rebels again. We won in Triol. Well, I wonder if the uh, did, did they saw the Styria cores? Let's uh, let's see if we can't get Styria free. No. No release nations, I guess. It's weird. Whatever. Blah. Looks like France is finally wiping out the loss of Austria's army. Or just letting them run free while they siege things. Alright, apparently we're taking loans now, that's not good. Let's get a royal marriage. Salzburg is done. Let's drop a siege and start taking our troops out of here. Just for the thrill. Or no, not really, just so that we save. Alright, let's kill those rebels, damn it. I hope the nationalism doesn't make our conversion impossible. No, it doesn't really, it didn't do much for the conversion, actually. We can re royally marry them. That's nice that they'll convert stuff, but they, they're they not going to like it that they're Shia. So... Like, they, they won't buy lands that are Shia, so we might end up, after we hit the button, releasing Car Coin Lu again. Although, we're going to have already converted everything into... We might have to re release uh, Syria, is what's probably going to happen. And besides, our X cores are all in Car Coin Lu and the turn ends now, so... There's that. Croatia is trying to get free. That's fun. Uh, we'll get these guys home then, so they stop taking attrition. Uh, they're going to fight us in the mountains like that. Not a good idea. Alright, well, let's get the hell out of here then. Um, too rich for my blood. This is a defensive war, damn it. Peace out already, France. Yeah, we're gonna back out every every one of us. No reason to stay here anymore. Besides the extra taxes. So yeah, we're going home. Screw you guys. We're going home. Alright, we can convert the last one. It's going to take 14 months, but it'll be worth it. We converted Sivas, sweet. We'll split up these guys into two different armies. With both of our cool leaders. I don't know what we're gonna get. I'm not hoping for much. 
French just pieced out one of the miners. So they'll probably take like white piece with Austria soon. I bet you what they're gonna like see the problem is is that they're not gonna give us anything because France wants too much from Austria. There's no incentive for them to give us anything really, and there's too much of stuff that France wants, like uh Franche Comte, for instance, and then those little provinces over there inching into the HRE, um taking giving us like Osmark or crying and grains and it's not going to do anything honestly it's not going to do anything for us either so i don't really feel too bad if they sort of exclude us but uh, it's still kind of sucky let's go ahead and build training fields where we got the uh the culture correct we're gonna i'm gonna start saving money for a new fleet because we gotta get rid of all of our galleys anyways. So let's just disband them right now so we don't have to pay for them anymore. I mean, those was our trade fleet, whatever. Um, so what? what's our next, uh... When's the next ship level? Okay, it's gonna be early frigate right now. So as soon as this one's done. And when does the next galley come along? Not until 17. So, oh god, I hate like how fast these galleys and stuff come through us. Like how fast you have to upgrade your ships, it's kind of silly, almost. Corsica, Sardinia got occupied with Corsica? Interesting. It's weird because they're so small. I'd rather have a thousand manpower. How's our war exhaustion anyway? Seven? Yeah, that's kind of crappy. Cthulhu? Well, I guess we'll fabricate claims then. Yeah, we might end up just pouring all this shit ourselves, or well not the ship, but the two on top ourselves, just because I want to have it faster than uh, they'll probably want to core it. Alright, France, peace out Austria in the following terms. See, look at this, exactly, nothing, we got nothing. They, they just took shit that they wanted and that's okay. Whatever. France, you greedy bastards. It would have been nice if he could you give us some money or something. We could have pieced out and gotten money long ago, but uh, we did not because we are right, righteous. So sweet, we are fully religiously unified. We now can build galleons and early frigates. Let's build some more. Let's build some trade then. I wonder, are these cheaper than they were earlier? That's kind of cool that the new ships are a little cheaper. I never thought that would be like a, one of the innovations they'd make, you know, with like new ship design is like, oh, it's cheaper. Like, you know, because new ship you'd think is like new expensives. New expensive ways of like manufacturing and stuff, but I guess not. Cheaper is sometimes better. Building some galleys now. Not really what I wanted. Trade ships are more important now. Concede defeat? <laughs> Whatever. That's some bull. You could have vassalized them, France, and that would have been awesome, because then they could, you would have an elector and you could be the HRE. But whatever. Dumb France is dumb. We're going to build a guy in Corfu after this. Oh well. Yay, we can finally finish our military thing. Defensive idea is awesome, and we got all the rest of this good shit. So, we are completely ready and equipped 
to destroy any other religion. Militarily, we can destroy shit. And, of course, diplomatically, we can destroy shit. So we are all around ready to freaking rape over here in Asia as well as in Europe. I cannot wait to s till we can like actually start doing like ridiculous stuff like we were doing as Germany. But that'll be probably after we destroy the Mamluks a little bit more. Anyways, let's build some more frigates, yo. Uh, we're gonna have to refuse so we can get, get that prestige. Thank you. Ah, but we still have a lot of boats now. How many do we have in production currently? 16? Sweet, and they're actually starting to get built too. I'll build one more in Constantinople before I start gathering them. Uh, let's actually gather them down here in Naxos just because it'll be a little easier to snag when we uh, around our troops and stuff. We're going to move our troops to the uh, to in here because we're going to be fighting with the Mamluks soon. And this is a good spot to engage. Oh, we have a loan? I, I, I totally forgot about this that we took while we were at war with them. Okay. Let's all go get together now. And start patrolling in Egypt again. Is I wonder if Egypt is like a... Is this a modern... Is Egypt a modern term? Like... Do they... I wonder how they referred to it in modern times. It's like Mamluks, you know? There's no country down here. It's still Egypt, even though now it's called Egypt. But I think that's kind of like calling uh, this area, like, Libya, you know? like That's just because the country is there. That doesn't really mean that's what the name of the place was always. So I wonder. I wonder if that was always Egypt. We're, like, calling this area Italy, even though it's, like, Naples or, or Spain owns it now, you know? It's kind of not the right word. Whatever, once we repay this loan, we'll make a little bit more money too, so I might as well. What we need is for Russia to like not be such dicks. They desire Constantinople? Oh, uh, okay, like, the whole world fucking desires my Constantinople. Whatever, that's to be that's to be understood, because Constantinople is the shit. Military access from Austria? Oh really Austria, why? Alright, fine, whatever, you can have it. We're not gonna hold a grudge. So yeah, hopefully we can get a little more trade power too. Oh well, at least we're becoming trade masters, you know, getting good money from that too. Oh man, I hope the Mamluks go to war with like the Terminids or something. Can we get our alliance with them? No, because we probably still hate them. They kind of are assholes. Damn them poor uniforms. Let's build some more trade ships. Okay. So we need to work on getting uh, the Zemiats and Alexandria and stuff. We still have to have that as our mission, correct? Okay, good. But I, don't, I think we're going to want to maybe do this first. Let us finish off uh, Anatolia. But we could do either one first, it doesn't matter which one, which order. I just know that we can't fit both in. Let's fabricate on Sinop then. Alright, so that's going to about do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Byzantium. We are pretty much trying to 
almost done unifying what it was once the Byzantium Empire eh, light, you know, like the north version of it. Once we get Egypt and stuff over here, then and maybe a little bit over to, like, maybe like right here, I believe, is like going to be the, like once we square off sort of with where we are in Greece, then I think that's like Byzantium, like what it was. And I'll, and I'll look at a map and see to make sure exactly, but I'm pretty sure like once we have this sort of this area here in the, uh, in the Mediterranean to the to the east is that that will be fine with that'll, that'll be a good Byzantium and then we can obviously expand and turn it back into full-fledged Roman Empire we're gonna restore the Pentarchy aren't we hell yeah all right see you guys later spring pray out